Hey everybody, welcome to Shut Up and Pick. I'm Troy and uh, I love doing instrument demos. I got a pretty cool instrument today. Um, it is an Epiphone Byron 1949. Beautiful arch top guitar, right? Well, that's what it started life as, but as you can see, it's got eight strings. So um, it's actually been converted into a mandocello slash octave mandolin. So uh, I'll tell you more about it when we get to the talking part, but uh, as for now, Let's shut up and pick. That's what he sounds like. Uh, really cool sound. You know, I had always loved those uh, Mandicellos that Gibson made in the 20s by, uh, you know, during the lower, lower period uh, in the early 20s, 22 to 24. And uh, I had noticed that when they made those Mandicellos that Gibson made, all they did was take a Gibson L5 body, you know, the arch top guitar body, and just put six, uh, put eight strings on it. You know, they started life as a six string. So uh, my buddy Jeff Hostetter, who's uh, who has string instrument repairs over in Red Lion, PA, he was in New Freedom at the time, and uh, him and my friend Amy Hopkins uh, both owned that shop, and I used to teach over there. And uh, this was hanging on the wall as a six string uh, for a, for a little while, and he just nobody was interested in buying it really. And I thought, well. Jeff, what do you think? Could we take that, take those that six string uh, guitar and turn it into a, a, a mandocello with eight strings? He said, "Yeah, I think we can do that." So he took some, uh, took 
and plugged the holes you know, for the guitar, and I think some of the holes may have lined up, but uh, plug those holes in the headstock and put eight, you know, Gibson man vintage Gibson mandolin tuners on it, and uh, changed out the bridge and put uh, put a new bridge on it with a eight uh, eight string saddle, and it just it just really honks. It just sounds amazing. I know George Gruen had uh, seen it at one point uh, when Jeff took it down to Nashville uh, for a symposium down there, I think, and George just didn't want to quit playing it i don't think i think this thing is on par i know it sounds like uh, heresy but i think it's on par with the with the lloyd lore uh Manticellos. it really just has that that sound for a whole lot less money than uh than than the lures are going for i mean they're worth it because they're they're cool and rare but this thing just just really barks and um i just love it to death so hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll uh, make sure you like and subscribe uh check out some of the, the music links in the bottom if you like uh, americana and bluegrass music and uh, we'll see you next time on Shut Up and Pit.